So let's see what's in store for your first one. A blessing in disguise. So whatever you guys are going through at the moment, whether it's something that you are feeling is an, um, an unjust situation or as if you feel you're not being treated fairly or you haven't been given an advantage or a fair opportunity at this point in time, there's a reason for it. I love the saying that everything happens for a reason. And sometimes when things occur around us or to us at a set point in time, we go, oh, really? You know, why did that happen? Why did I miss out on that job? Why did I not pass that exam? Why did I not to get to go away with my friends somewhere? Why did I miss the purchase of that house? Because there is something better in store for you. And that's the way to look at it. So it's a beautiful card. It tells us, it teaches us to accept the things that come along, learn from them, grow from them, and know that there is more coming that is far better for us that is going to suit us more. The words on the card are, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. So it's kind of also like saying if there is anything that you would like help or resolution with, offer it up to the universe to help resolve it. And don't be afraid to actually ask that. So you can do it silently in your mind or you can do it, you know, in meditation or you can do it out loud or, or if you want to or with others. But remember to actually put it forth and say to the universe, I would really love help and assistance with this particular problem that I need clarification with and I would like to see resolution so that all parties benefit from it as we move forward together or even if it's just for something about yourself. So nice way to start the month knowing that positivity is coming for you and that the, it, it is a, it's being resolved as you speak and as you think about it in the right way. Let's see what the next card is, your goddess energy. Vesta home. Seeing a lot of the lovely yellow and gold color coming through for you just in these first two cards. So feeling this um, this kind of sacral chakra energy or the um, solar plexus, the oranges and the yellows. And you can utilize that color energy by wearing orange and yellows or eating those type of foods or bringing it into your life, whether it, um, whether it be a pillow or a cushion in your house or an ornament or some crystals that have the orange in it such as this beautiful um, jade. Home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So the Vesta card often tells us that there is change coming in and around your living environment. Some of you may well be moving physically. You could change a dress or some of you may be going somewhere for a period of time overseas or someone new might be coming into your lives that will reside in your home, maybe new neighbours in your neighbourhood that you connect with or um, just clearing energies that have been blocked in your home environment or relationships around the home one way or another. So that when we think about that, that can be many different levels of interaction. So it could be between siblings, parents, friends, neighbours, um, yourself. So there could be a nice positive uplifting clearing. And she seems to be looking in towards this Vesta. So I think that's quite a neat um, message for you guys. Feels like, yeah, that April may bring some sort of positive insight and uplift into clearing something personal at your home level and bringing in some lighter vibrational energy. Let's see what this one is. Vegetarian and vegan. Fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy which elevates your spiritual frequency. So there's obviously something in here for you about diet and balance and moderation and perhaps your it's like a new 
turnover. Something's turning over that's clicking through, that you're making changes. You know, when we see this change in our home, because our homes are the closest things to our hearts, whether your home is a semi-permanent one or a permanent one or whether you move or whatever, where you lay your head and sleep at night is, is really the final physical act of the day. So it is actually still very, very precious and dear to us. So it feels to me as if there's change coming around your home. Now, part of this might be your own desire to make some changes within yourself. And, you know, there's blessings in disguise, these changes coming here, here and here. So are you wanting to uplift a new lifestyle? Are you creating a new you, making moderate changes in, in your appearance, your activities, who you associate with? how you address situations. This is really quite positive and uplifting. I would say it has the Capricorn steadiness of it. It feels quite grounded. You know, we've got these grounded colours just like the Capricorn and we're back dealing with foods, which we think of as coming from Earth anyhow. Very nurturing for us and really suits your Earth energies. So it feels like it's kind of slowish change. It's been transmuted from all levels but gently and nurturing. Now there are many foods that we can eat that benefit our health in so many ways and in particular the, um, the vegetables and the fruits and the minerals and the vitamins. We are often very depleted of them in our modern day diets and especially in the western world even more so. We tend not to take on board enough of the ancient um, spices and herbs that are very, very good for cleansing and regenerating of cells. So I think this card is not necessarily just talking about being a vegetarian or a vegan, but eating organic foods if you can and really incorporating um, there's certain foods that are particularly good at helping the immune system. So to help stop, prevent things like viruses, colds, autoimmune disorders and other things like MS and ME. So a lot of those foods are the garlics, the herbs, the spices, the zinc, um, asparagus, celery, kumara, pawpaw, um, lentils, beans, broccoli. I'm just thinking of them here off the top of my head, but these are some of the things that you could incorporate to really power boost up your um, your metabolism and your body, sort of like a rebirthing it almost, giving it some sort of really strong nurturing. We come to this fourth card and we see Shamuel and we see Serenity and I think that's the Taj Mahal there. So we see this, we get this feeling of peacefulness coming through. And I think if you do all of these things here that, that have been leading up to this card, you will feel much more peace and serenity in your own self. And when we establish peace and serenity from within, that's what we start to pass out. And so then as we pass that out and through into our lives and into our um, daily chores and um, workings and things that we do on a daily basis we then it just keeps going and transports itself out further and further and further so that we find we we are blessed with this beauty of serenity and serenity is the peace and the quiet and the calm and the connectedness to all that is and allows us to then um, grow and understand and be more tolerant and um, learn and sort of raise our vibrations to a higher level. Because that's the beautiful, really pink vibration, which I think of as pink and light purple, which you've got both of the crystals here. So you think of the heart healing for the pink, so healing of relationships and bringing serenity into relationships, which we've talked a little bit before about this, and the blessing in disguise. And then the the purple muted tones of the third eye, so gaining some sort of spiritual inner access to helping to understand your situation and how it is. So if we go to the final card and we see communication. 
self-expression, exchange, sharing and connection. And this is communication, which is the throat chakra. So I will read to you the words from the book for communication. With his eyes to the sky and mouth opened wide, a young man releases a spiralling stream of thoughts, dreams and energy. His visions hold many bright possibilities which have not yet had the chance to materialise for they have been held inside unexpressed. Today the floodgates open and all that is ready to move beyond the subtle realms into the manifested form will have a chance to do so with grace and power through the gift of open communication. Whether we realise it or not, we are all in constant communication with life and the world around us. Not only in what we say, but in our body language, tonality, facial expressions and movement. We communicate far more than most of us realise. In fact, the words we speak only make up a very small percentage of what we communicate out into the world each day. This card is an invitation to come into alignment inside and out with what you really want to say in life. Take time to get clear within yourself first. Become conscious of what your soul wishes to express. Then open your perception to the many ways that you may be able to communicate that clarity. If you find it hard to verbalise what you really want to say, this card encourages you to practice expressing yourself out loud and in other ways. Take a moment to pause before speaking and practice slowing down your breath so that you are calm and able to clearly connect with what you most want to express. You may even choose to write a letter to someone or put down your thoughts in writing before you speak. Pay attention to the way you speak and the way you express yourself. Choose to value your words and your opinions and then others will value them too. The essence of communicating is all about our connection with other people. Be open to speaking up about your opinions and beliefs. Acknowledge responsibility for expressing yourself and your needs to others. Balanced communication is also about being patient, accepting and willing to listen. Listen to the words and actions of others and to what is being expressed in the subtle moments and exchanges of life. It is here in the quiet gap between the words that the deepest truths are revealed. Listen to what's going on around you, in your family, community and the world. Choose to genuinely engage and be actively involved in conversations. Choose to communicate consciously. It's interesting too, Capricorns, that I see the communication sitting up here on the Vesta home as well as this one. So there is something about um, the home and communication. So... Um, clarifying things there there's also the possibility that there might be new people as I said earlier coming into your home and this can even sometimes be um, a conception of a new person like a baby coming in or like a new family member joining one way or another so you've yours is very much about there's other people involved in this reading so not just entirely about yourself it seems to be that especially with the Vesta card and the communication that other people are on your mind for the month of April and that they play a role in helping to um, unclear blockages, allow movement of things, creativity and change all coming in through these cards and the readings. <laughs> 